The biggest Ryder Cup winning margin is 24.5 points. The margin was achieved by the United States in the year 1999. It was the 33rd Ryder Cup matches and were held at the Country Club in Brookline, Massachusetts. The European side was led by Mark James while United States was led by Ben Crenshaw. The competition consisted of four sessions of foursomes and four ball matches plus a single session of singles matches. The US team had a commanding lead after two days of play, leading 9.5 to 6.5 going in the singles. It was the first time the U.S. was ahead since 1993 and the first time since 1975 that the U.S. won the singles. The U.S. swept all five matches in the singles session as the Europeans failed to gain any ground. The final tally was 15.5 to 12.5 points in favor of the United States. This was one of the largest margins of victory that the Americans had ever achieved against the Europeans in Ryder Cup history. The European squad, however, staged a comeback in the next event, the 2002 Ryder Cup, winning by a score of 15.5 to 12.5. The American dominance of the Ryder Cup was finally broken in 2018 when the European side triumphed by 16.5 to 11.5 points. This was the first win for Europe since 2014 and the biggest margin of victory since 1999. The US team had been on the front foot since 2016 with two consecutive wins in 2014 and 2016, however, they failed to close the deal this time. The European side made a statement by dominating the singles session 8-4 overcoming the US early lead. The comeback capped off a remarkable turn of events in golf's most famous rivalry, setting a new record for largest Ryder Cup margin of victory. Europe's record-breaking margin of 24.5 points in 1999 has been unmatched by either side in the history of the Ryder Cup. It was an impressive display of golf from both teams, highlighting the competitiveness of the tournament. It also underscored Europe's dominance over the US in the Ryder Cup over the past two decades. The US team has not since come close to matching the margin of victory set by the Europeans in 1999. It remains the largest disparity ever seen in a Ryder Cup match and will likely remain so for many years to come. It serves as a testament to the skill and determination of both teams, as well as a reminder of why the Ryder Cup is so beloved by golf fans worldwide. The competition between the two sides continues to be intense as seen in recent Ryder Cups. The 1999 victory for Europe remains the biggest margin of victory in the history of Ryder Cup and is unlikely to be surpassed anytime soon. The result highlights Europe's dominance in the golfing world and demonstrates how far the Europeans have come in the last 20 years. The result was achieved thanks to the hard work and dedication from both teams, ultimately ending in the most convincing victory in Ryder Cup history.